All right, welcome back. In this video, I just want to go over another voltage divider circuit. Um, when we look at the circuit, we see that there's just a whole bunch of resistors in series, all connected head to tail with one single voltage source. So looking at this, we have seven resistors in series. And to get the equivalent resistance, all we need to do is add up all of them together. So the equivalent resistance is just going to be equal to, we can just maybe pick a place to start. Let's start here and go around the circle. So we just have one ohm plus two plus four plus three plus five plus two plus three. That's all in units of ohms. And we have the equivalent resistance is just equal to 20 ohms. So basically we could just replace all of these resistors with a single resistor that's 20 ohms and connect it to the positive and negative terminal of the battery. And from the battery's perspective, it would be the same. So knowing that, we can take Ohm's law, which is V equals IR. We can rearrange it for current to find that current is equal to V over R. Now the total voltage drop across the equivalent resistor would be equal to the voltage supplied by the battery, so that would be 36 volts over the equivalent resistance, which is 20 ohms. And that division would just give us 1.8 amps. So we can label the current on just like this, I is equal to 1.8 amps. And this is the current that's going to be passing through every resistor because there's only one path for the current to flow as it goes the whole way around. So if we wanted to find the voltage drop in each resistor individually, we can do that using Ohm's law. So the expression for that again is V equals I R. Now the current that's going through each resistor is going to be the same. So it's just going to be 1.8 amps and then we can just multiply by the resistance for each one. So taking a look at the resistor that's right here in the bottom left first, we could input one ohm to this expression and 1.8 amps times one ohm just gives us 1.8 volts. So let's actually label on the voltage drop. So we have 1.8 volts. We can move on to the next one here. That's a two ohm resistor. And if we just update our expression here, for two ohms, then 1.8 amps times two ohms just gives us 3.6 volts. And we can label that on here as well, 3.6 volts, and then move on to the next resistor. So the next one is four ohms, so we can just place this in, and then 1.8 times four is twice as big as the previous one, so that gives us 7.2 volts. All right, for the next one, we can update for the top middle one, so we're going to drop in three ohms and three ohms times 1.8 amps is 5.4 volts. So that's this guy right here. And then we can just keep going, move to the next one. 1.8 amps times five ohms gives us nine volts. So this is a nine volt drop. And we already calculated what it is for a two ohm resistance. It's 3.6 volts. So this guy here is 3.6 volts. And then same down here, we've already calculated three ohms. Up here, it's 5.4 volts of drop. So we have 5.4 volts of a voltage drop. And sure enough, if you go around and add up all of these, so 1.8 volts plus 3.6 plus 7.2 plus 5.4 plus 9 plus 3.6 plus 5.4, that is all of the total voltage drops, and that all adds up to 36 volts. So we supply 36 volts at the battery, and then we, we drop 36 volts on the way back around the circuit.